Hey, I'm Chromis, and welcome back to the first version of what this is. Uh, I'm talking about glow-ups! Specifically Jack Zapdagger today, the Irish man himself. Um, he's had quite a glow-up recently. And I was really I don't see a lot of people talking about it, like just, you know, general people showing the love, which you should. Also, we're red. Indigenous Awareness Month. Around here, anyway. I know it's a day in May. But I think I got an indigenous like wife, so like I can like do what I want. So like we're red, should you wear us? Um, that being said, the green is what we're talking about today. He started like if you go back to his videos, you know the not the impression video that was that was just a masterpiece. He will never re reach that level of pure content ever again, which is honestly unfortunate to hit right out the park at the beginning. Can all do that, I'm afraid, but afterwards, he still does some pretty good stuff. My favorite series, actually, was Little Inferno. Still is one of my favorite series. He has done other stuff. I used to watch, like, some of his Undertale stuff as well. Um, but, like, seeing him grow, like, being, like, you can imagine what he was feeling like. And his fame is, and his success, not just because of fucking PewDiePie, shout out. Seriously. But, you know that for a while, before he, like found his footing you know for sure he had that in the back of his mind like oh all my fucking success will be because of this it's, it's bullshit but that's how people see things sometimes and they like to bring people down just for the sake of it but he's got high energy and positivity so that's what it's all about um seeing like his ability now to raise so much money for charity is awe-inspiring it really is you know, like back in 2016, he's like raised over 700,000. Like, for charities. Like, that is nuts. And he's given it to like freaking uh, disabled gamers and stuff like that, and just cancer research. And one of the Christmas ones he did for homes, you know, giving people's homes and stuff like that, trying to, you know, like make people feel more comfortable in the world. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. So, seeing him go from Sugar Plum to all that stuff it's just I just I've been thinking about it I just thought about it I'm just like he went from his just brown haired stage I was at that stage too but it's not on the channel that got removed it's not you're never gonna see it <laughs> it's gone it's erased it's it's blown up in in a, in a cave somewhere nope that's never happening <laughs> but he still has all this stuff up which is you know cool to look back on um you can imagine what's going through his mind, though. I like got those times. You know, other, like... Oh, am I ever gonna get anything? Looking at small views and then slowly building and stuff like that. And he still considers he did nothing in his first year, really. Which I feel like a lot of people usually do. Um, except around here. This is the first year of Chrominus. First year. There have been zero years before this. Zero. Nothing. Absolutely nothing that you should not go investigate. This is the first year, and it's going pretty well. Hitting off pretty well for me. I mean, I'm having a good time, so that's... I mean, I got a wife in, in, in this in this year. That's pretty wild. Didn't expect that. Nope. Did not expect that. He's gone through his green phase. He went back to his green phase for, again, a charity thing. And he's a, literally a dude that feels bad about talking about giving to charity. Because so many, cause so many assholes in the world freaking use charity as like a clout thing. And like, which is just such, it's so, it's so fucking annoying. It's really annoying that you can't even talk about the good shit you do because people are going to think that, oh, you're just looking for attention. Bullshit. But other people can say it for you, I guess. So, he's done shit tons of charity. He deserves to feel good for himself. I will say it for him. How about that? He understands the gap now. You know what I mean? Like, as much as he wants to put out all the energy and all the happiness in his videos and just really, you know, try and make someone stay better, he... He understands the gap more than he did years ago. You know, when he has green hair and everything else. He was too connected. You know what I mean? And that's why some people go back and say, Oh, I want old Jack. Or, oh, you know, I want, old, I want the old Jack. I want, give me the, I want the green hair now. I want it now. Give it to me. I, uh, no questions, buts, or anything. Give it to me now, you Irish man. That's what a lot of people are like. And it's, it's, it's intense. For someone who has a lot, like he, he's just, like, I remember watching his, like, what was his pilot one, and he had a bit of fun. Um, he's in, like, a, I don't know if it was Microsoft Pilot, but he was, he was a pilot. 
and he did like one of my favorite that was actually one of my favorite videos recently he made because he actually used an old video of him like green air or whatever and like crashed a plane into into his own like video kind of thing it was cool yeah like i remember talking around the time like when he put up his aviation video probably a while ago now um but he was like it, it feels too intense about video he's so like stressed and like like is it gonna be good enough and stuff like that you shouldn't feel that about the stuff you put up like years ago like, there were small little bits, and I think, I've only realized this recently, he was probably like always, like right after he recorded, he probably made food, and had food, so like, the, it's, I, I, it works for me, so I don't eat before I record, I think of food, you know what I mean? I'm like energized, like, if I get this done, I can have something to eat, that's gonna be yummy, you know what I mean? Delicious! So I think he did that too, because remember in the end of his of videos, he had like the, oh I'm hungry. And I remember when he took that out at one point, everyone was like, What happened to you? So you were hungry? You're not hungry anymore? What's going on? <laughs> Wait, what's changing? You're going to want old Jack back. <laughs> it's, it's just editing choices. I mean, I, th I don't know when, I, th I don't know when he started editing or he asked like one of his editors to change it up. Because I know he got Robin when he like did all the animation and stuff, but now it's a little different because back then that was just a choice. Right now, if he got so stressed out about like all the changes in YouTube, and it's fair, can't say fuck, cunt, badger, rabbit, whatever the fuck you want to say, you know, some of his classics. You know what I mean, badger butthole, remember some something like that? That was a classic one. Give me quite the giggle. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh, but oh, you know, you just, you know, it's it is pretty, you know, whatever, or offensive, or it's not offensive and stuff like that. Um, but here's the thing, if Every single person made the content they wanted. And all of that content had swearing. And it all got demonetized. YouTube would be in a bit of a pickle. So, what would they do? They'd be like, I'm sorry, that's just our guidelines. You know, we're bankrupt now, it's just our guidelines. Nope. They would change that shit lickety split. They would. But there's so many fakers out there that are able to abuse the system and make shit that is very much clean in the eyes of YouTube. I won't name names. I will not name certain names in the video of Jack Zaptica. I won't do it. I won't do it. But plenty of people know who's who's and whatever the people are doing content like oh, you know, uh, they're good, you know, and uh, they did this. Yeah, I will, I will, I will. I'll, I'll name what? Frickin' Logan Paul, okay? He filmed a dead body. Think we're just gonna forget that? That man probably... Do you think that was nice? That man hanging up from a tree, do you think he had a nice time? No? I'm, I'm sure that the guy hanging was laughing about it too. The only reason he actually apologized is because his fa fan base. If, as everyone was just like... <laughs> he would never apologize. And he doesn't get, he actually doesn't give a shit because guess what? Oh my god, I can't believe I got scammed by the egg thing! It's, he was a, he's a good person, I can't believe! But it's your own damn fault. Seriously, it's all your own damn fault. Like, I was actually very confused uh, of seeing actually Markiplier on a podcast with him. I was very confused. Why would Markiplier go on a podcast with that douche? Uh, seriously. Now everyone's just forgetting about the whole scam thing like I didn't get any money remember guys I didn't get any money but my two business partners they got all the money so they definitely did not give me any of that money no way 100% no no way I never got any of the money got zero money guys seriously got zero money no scam there was no scam get the, get the fuck out of here seriously like you have no you give no shits about anybody that's watching your content you give shit about the shit you know what I'm saying the green there, back to the real green. Jordan McLaughlin, McLaughlin, McLaughlin is just a gem. He's a gem. And I'm glad to see he's just getting happier with all his content and he's growing. And he's just, as much as he's done a lot, I still feel like he has a lot to give. Him himself knows he has a lot to give because for a long time, he wasn't really him. He was... He was trying to be someone that people thought they wanted him to be. And it's sad to say that he was sad in a lot of those videos. Maybe not inherently sad, but afterwards, like, or before. So before a video, sometimes, I, I don't know if other people feel this, but you lose all of your energy to do it whatsoever. 
But if you have a series, you gotta get that shit out. You have a time gap, you need to get that stuff done, because it's your job. You want, this is something you love, and you want to, oh, also, the pressure of, oh my god, this could make someone else stay better. I need to push. And that's why burnout happens. But like, right after a video as well, after pushing through, you think it's just gonna be, like, sometimes it's sort of like, yeah, I did it, woohoo. But sometimes it's like, oh, Jesus, my energy's gone, I have to do another thing, and I have all this other stuff to do, and I have, like, relationship to also tend to, and, like, there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it, and it's the same with everyone's kind of job. You know, you have other things other than that thing. But when it comes to YouTube and creating, you need to be focused in on all your emotions at the right time. If you're making authentic content, not fucking you're just a character. Sometimes it's uh, cathartic to have a character, if you're on a channel or whatever, like they have their dark pliers and their whichever. Well, not Jacksepta has dark pliers, Mark Plier. Jacksepta has, you know, anti, anti is what they call them. Pretty cool. Um, that can be kind of cathartic, you know, to get your energy up in a different way. And I feel that, I vibe with that. And if you pay close enough attention, you might be seeing some of that on here. You know what I'm saying? Right now, this is kind of like complete free content. I mean, I mean ad free. You're not gonna get no ads here, not for a while. First 90, 999 subscribers, you're good. You're good, baby. Come on over, get in here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get, get in here. In the great words of Jack Septicite, subscribe. Okay, just, just subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to talk about. I just, I genuinely just wanted to talk about Jack Septic's glow up. Going from this to this, the Gaelic Gladiator, pretty cool. You know what I'm saying, and it's it's cool. Been seeing him grow emotionally, not just in a visual, physical sense, uh, grow emotionally. Like how one of his older videos, he talked about like a dude with long hair and a ponytail. Oh, such a douchebag haircut, and then he got that same haircut, and he realized, you know what? Sometimes I wasn't always saying the thing I, meant I should have been saying because I wasn't fully myself. And that's okay to say. So I'm just glad, I'm glad he's happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad he's got his, his life all sorted and now he can just keep continue do, continuing to do good. Uh, I'm excited to see what else he does. I wonder if he ever makes a game. That'd be cool, right? That'd be kind of cool.